Hi, Tropical Bob here with another way to save money on your tobacco habit. Today we're going to talk about cutting the cost even further of using an electronic cigarette, a device with a battery, atomizer, and cartridge that vaporizes a liquid containing nicotine to satisfy a smoker's needs. With an electronic cigarette, there are two continuing costs. One is replacement of the atomizer, which is periodic, perhaps monthly, perhaps every quarter. The other, though, is the cartridge itself, which contains the liquid that is vaporized. A cartridge is usually a pack of cigarettes or less in equivalency, and you'll use at least one a day, maybe more. Commercial cost, about a dollar a cartridge. E-liquid to fill the cartridge, about a dollar a milliliter. Each cart contains about one milliliter, so you're talking about a dollar for each time you have to replace or exchange a cartridge. Now, what if you could do it for far less than a dollar? Well, you can using a snooze packet, which I've demonstrated, demonstrated previously in video here. But today we're going to use something even more different. We're going to use a little cigar. That is correct. We're going to do a tobacco-based electronic cigarette. I chose a cappuccino flavor of Neos as my basic cigar, uh, little cigar. The, the major consideration here is that the little cigar should fit the cartridge core. It has to slide in. Look at the size of this baby. Can you see that? Cigars are measured in what's called ring size. Uh, usually the smallest ring size is about a 26 on a cigar. That's a 26 64 of an inch. That's how the ring size is determined. A standard cigarette has a 20 ring size. Well, the ring size that will fit into a cartridge core is going to be less than 20. A standard cigarette just will not slide in. Plus, you're going to have the paper, even if you use something like Capri or Virginia Slims. So I went for the smallest cigars you could find, and these Neo, Neos, they're called, have a 17 ring size, 17 ring size. They slide perfectly into the 801 pin style cartridge core. All right, we've proven before that inserting a snooze into our cartridge core produces a nice flavorful vapor, probably balanced in terms of nicotine and the other alkaloids in tobacco, and that is an important fact to know. We need a carrier, a creator of vapor. Tobacco itself won't vaporize easily, especially if the temperature is in an electronic cigarette. So we're going to have to use either propylene glycol or vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is very easy to come by at your health food store. And in this spoon right here, you see a little piece of little cigar that has been soaking overnight in vegetable glycerin. It was slow to absorb it. Now the vegetable glycerin will not, of course, add nicotine or add anything to the vapor. In this particular spoon, you have a piece of cigar that has been soaked in 48 milligram per milliliter nicotine, e-liquid nicotine solution. This is a very, very powerful solution, very high nicotine content. And we should transfer the flavor of the little cigar along with the nicotine and the whole tobacco alkaloids to the resulting vapor. This will give us a better experience, far better experience, as a matter of fact, than simply using commercial e-liquid. Speaking of special liquid, a chemist friend of mine has created, he has extracted whole tobacco alkaloids and nicotine in balance, in proportion, into a liquid that we've been testing. The, this follows uh, no, notes from people that something is missing. Something is missing with e-smoking. Many people are satisfied for a few weeks, perhaps even a few months, and then all of a sudden they want a cigarette again. Something is missing. The theory is what's missing are supporting alkaloids in the tobacco. So something is missing. Something is missing in the commercial products, the big pharmaceutical products, and that something might be other alkaloids contained in tobacco. So my chemist extracted everything in proportion, the nicotine, the whole tobacco alkaloids in about a 95 or 90 to 10 or 5 ratio and put them in very clean 
liquid and sent it to me for testing. I will tell you, this has a real kick. This has the first after feeling, after electronic smoking, that you had after cigarettes. If you normally use an electronic cigarette, you get no after feeling at all. You get very little nicotine hit. You get a throat hit, but that's an irritation. You're not absorbing much nicotine either. Very, very little. It makes it into your bloodstream where it really counts, where it can affect brain chemistry to relax you and make you feel better. In the beginning, I, it's largely a placebo effect. You see vapor, you feel vapor go in and see vapor come out. You're told vapor has nicotine. Whoopee, I'm satisfied. No, you're not. Give yourself a few weeks. Give yourself a few months and tell me you're satisfied. In this particular Janty Kiss Box unit, this is my standby go-to favorite called a pen style or an 801. I've placed one of the vegetable glycerin soaked pieces of the little cigar. Let's see what it does. I've been trying this for a while. This is not my first inhalation. This thing tastes like a cigar. I seem to get full satisfaction from it. Can't be sure yet. I want to use it all day and see if I get some kind of nicotine afterglow. But I think I'm getting proportionate, proportions of tobacco in the vapor produced by this soaked little cigar. Unlike that of commercial e-liquid. Commercial e-liquid fell for the same thing Big Pharmaceutical did. It's the nicotine those addicts need. Let's provide the nicotine and they'll be happy. Nicotine's not the only thing that the addicts need. The addicts are addicted to smoking, not to nicotine. Smoking involves everything in the smoke that has an impact on brain chemistry plus the visual and hand-to-mouth stimulation. All right, we've got the visual, we've got the vapor, we've got the nicotine, we don't have the rest of it. Now, with this method, we have the rest of it. Keep in mind that what we want in, in a liquid, particularly a liquid like this, and what my chemist succeeded in getting, is everything desirable to the body that is not the byproduct of combustion and therefore carcinogenic, okay? Vapor, apparently, apparently, is not carcinogenic. It doesn't contain the same 4,000 elements, 60 of them known carcinogens, that tobacco smoke does. It's not nicotine that is the problem. It's smoking that is the problem. So if we can find a way to deliver the smoking experience with nicotine and whole tobacco alkaloids without smoking, without inhaling smoke and all of its combustion byproducts that harm us, the tars, then we've really succeeded in something. Okay. The interesting thing about the 48 milligram whole tobacco alkaloid liquid that we've discovered in experimentation is the level of satisfaction lingers. It, it, do, it doesn't have a craving. You don't, you don't experience a craving. But the level of satisfaction lingers in a way it simply does not with nicotine only e-liquid. Now, if Big Pharmaceutical would admit that there might be something more to the smoking addiction than just an addiction to a single substance, nicotine, then they might succeed with a nicotine replacement product that did better than help one out of every 10 people trying it. Of course, it's a $14 billion a year industry for them, so they're pretty happy with the way things are, and they're happy to pull the wool over your eyes about their products being a way off of cigarettes. No, they're a way back to cigarettes for far too many people who might find a way off of cigarettes with an alternative that really worked. And I think we're very close now with either the tobacco smokeless cigarette in the mold of the, of the Premier and the Accord and the Heat Bar and the Eclipse marketed long ago by Big Tobacco, but a complete failure because they used a charcoal tip to heat the cigarette tobacco inside. We now have a modern technological way of heating the tobacco inside. So we don't have to rely on a drug. We can rely on tobacco in the form of little cigars or snooze. Whoa, I think I better go hit the recliner.